going on guys? Welcome back to the shop. Uh, as you can see, we're back on the 40 here and it looks a little bit different. Uh, we've got a new windshield on. Uh, I need some new glass, obviously. It's a little bit cracked, just like the old glass. Uh, Hudson, show them what we've taken off so far. We've taken off the top sides. We've taken off the windshield. We still need to pull uh, the parts out for the windshield wipers and other stuff out of the windshield. Uh, we've got, uh, got a new windshield on here. I had these, uh, these tube doors. I bought them uh, last summer. We got them on, but come here, Hudson. Let's show them some of the damage to the body here. As you can see right here, not really all too straight. I don't know. What do you think, guys? Should we get a new tub? Let's go around here to the other side. And here is the other side. And you can see it's pushed in just like the other side's pushed out. Uh, and then, of course, we've got the fender up here that is damaged and we do have another one of those uh, we just haven't put it on yet that's not causing any issues for driving and then got the hood we do need to find a hood we haven't got one of those anyway yet. uh we're out here today um i've got some new glow plugs because we've having been having an issue starting and what i found out is these are the glow plugs that we need and then the glow plugs that we had if you noticed uh, when we did the compression check on the engine uh some of them were um mushroomed out a little bit. Uh, apparently when you do a Wilson switch, these plugs right here are the ones that you want, not the other ones. These are 10 and a half volt. The other ones that I have, I believe are eight and a half volt. And basically we've, uh, we put too much voltage to them and we've messed them up. So had been a little bit of hard, uh, hard start issues when she's cold. So we're gonna put these in and we're gonna redo our Wilson switch where it connects to the glow plugs and then we're going to see how she starts she's completely cold I haven't run it since uh, yesterday afternoon so it's been sitting here for about 24 hours uh, and haven't had it plugged up or anything it's been starting great when it's plugged in to the block heater and just half a turn on the, the key and she starts right up so we're going to see if this fixes our uh, our hard start issue when when it's cold <laughs> Right, guys here is the uh, the glow plug that we took out and you can see right there how it's a little swell up on the end uh, this right here is a Nipodenzo 067100-1680 I believe it's an eight and a half volt plug and what we have put in is an NGK 7493 plug uh, I believe it is also a Y147 as its other part number. Uh, it is right there. Y147T is what we have. So uh, we're going to put them in and we're going to see how she fires up. Right, guys we are just about ready start the 3b up here um, as you saw we changed out this uh, glow plugs uh, we ran the wire directly to the number four glow plug and then we took this guy out that went uh, from the other wiring and, and bracketry and everything like that so we took this out so that it doesn't go back to the grid heater or whatever that big glow plug is right there. I'm not really sure what it's called. But anyway, we're gonna hop in. I'm gonna glow it for about 15 seconds and then we're gonna hit the starter and see how well she starts up. All right, time it for 15 seconds here. Here we go.
All right, guys. As you saw, man, fired right up. Awesome. All right, well, Dan's going to be over here in the morning. Uh, we're going to check some stuff out on the body and the frame and just make sure everything, uh, just do a little more damage assessment, uh, maybe try to do a few more repairs, and we're just going to see uh, see where we're at. What's up, guys? We got Dan here. We got the 40 here. We're going to pull it back in the garage here in a minute, and we are going to see if we can't uh, figure out if this frame is straight and... Uh, we're going to do that uh, with some plumb bobs, some laser levels, some chalk lines, some measuring tapes. Big disclaimer here, we have absolutely no clue what we're doing. Uh, we're just uh, shooting from the hip here and we're going to see uh, just if there's any damage to the frame or anything like that. Uh, thank you to everybody uh, that's reached out to us uh, on social media and uh, email and whatnot letting us know uh, what you guys have and uh, before we pull the trigger on any of those we just want to make sure that this frame is straight so that if we pull this body off another body will go back on uh, correctly and we don't have to do any kind of modifications or anything like that or look for another frame so I uh, appreciate everybody let's get this thing in the garage All right. So we've got the 40 in the, in the garage here. Now, the plan is we're gonna try and find some equal points of reference that we can hang these plumb bobs off. Um, right now, we're trying to find something we can make equal distance apart on either side and at the same at the back. And uh, then the plan would be to run like a snap of chalk line on the floor, is that what we say, Kev? That or a laser line, something like that. A laser line or something and then see if the, di the distance is equal on all four points, right? Yep. Yeah. Just measure an, an X pattern on the floor and uh, just check for square. And uh, if it is, we will, uh, we'll be good. Cruiser should be a metric, shouldn't it? <laughs> Give us your metric version. What is that, Ken? Good. Yep. All right, Ken, what you got? All right, we uh, we've got identical measurements. We we uh, as you can see, we got the plumb bobs hanging from the front spring hangers. And uh, then we're measuring right off the front of the uh, the rear spring hangers with a laser. And we measure the other side. We've got uh, 47 and about uh, 13 sixteenths. And we got 47 and 13 sixteenths on the other side. So it's right on, right dead nuts on. And the measurement uh, from front to back was pretty damn close. Yeah, and then we did measurements front to back. Um, I don't know. I, I think our, our, uh, the way we were hanging the, the plumb bobs off the back was not the greatest, but we were, uh, less than a quarter inch off front to back on those measurements. But this measurement right here with the spring hangers is right on. And I, I, I trust this measurement better. It's a, I think we're doing it a better way right here. So I'm happy with it. Good news. All right, guys, don't try this at home. What we've got here is we've got the 80 hooked up to one side of the 40 and then the 40 is being supported here by uh, some jack stands uh, just on one side of the frame and on the other side of the 40 we got hooked up to the 100 uh, on this winch rope it's just to stabilize it all we want to do here is we're not going to put under a whole lot of pressure we just want to where he can uh, drive this is going to take the body and we're just going to trying to pull it over more to the left. So, uh, yeah, see if this works. I got it straight away, you got it. Uh, it, it did it already. Oh yeah? Yeah. 
Look at that. It's maybe gone too far. Yeah, maybe I'll spring back. Work. Surprisingly well. Yeah. Let's give it a go. We're gonna on give the, it a go on the, uh, the roll cage. Roll cage. This, this might need a little bit more force. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's moving. It's moving. Yeah. Keep going. Is the whole truck or... uh, you're moving the. Yeah, but you're moving the, the cage as well. I'd say, yeah, right there. Is that straight? Yeah. It is actually. It's pretty good. Let's go one more bump. All right. Give it a bit more. Okay, that's good. All right. This can need to come in just a bit more, but. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, as you can see, we got a lot done on the 40 today. We got new glow plugs in. We straightened out the body and the roll cage. Obviously, we aren't going to reuse that roll cage. Uh, we'll be getting a new one from Metal Tech soon enough. Uh, but we just wanted to, to see exactly how bad, if there was any frame damage. And uh, and it just it makes the truck look a lot better. We've just been using it to run up and down the road, go to the dump, and just do some work around the house. But I uh, just wanted to see how, how bad off the body was, uh, see if it was salvageable. Um, what do you guys think? Should we repair the body? Or should we just go out and find another tub and another body and uh, stick it on this guy? Leave your comments down below. Please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next episode of Music City Cruisers.